Hey y'all and good morning. Good morning Gray Bays. What are y'all doing? I'm getting ready for work. I'm about to leave but I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. So I have on this just black flowy top. I think it's going to be warm today so I decided to just go with a black flowy top, black skinny jeans and then I got these shoes from Target over the weekend. Also we got a new bench for our bedroom. It's been on back order for a while. It looks like this. It's cute. And the reason that I have it covered up is because um, just like I have that chair in the corner currently covered up, it's because some people, some, some bodies don't know how to not scratch furniture yet. <laughs> We're still working on that. Also, these gold pillows, they're going to be going into my office. I'm not sure exactly where or where or why but they're going in my office <laughs> so that's the plan um my office is going to be kind of well it's gray already because that's the paint color on the wall but um, i have a pink ottoman which is also covered and i have white desk white bookcase and i thought i would just do like pink and like teal with some gold accents Hence the gold pillows, but I don't really have anything that the pillows are going to go on. So I don't know. Now it's time to say goodbye to, to my house because I'm going to go to work now. Did y'all even get what that was from? That was Mickey Mouse. Now at the Mickey Mouse Club, too, too, throwing it back too far. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company m-i-c see you real soon k-e-y why because we like you m-o-u-s-e that's probably off key <laughs> let's go to work hey y'all i'm oh i was waiting for the alarm to arm and it armed so now we're good to Sir, the store is closed. They don't have power. So I pulled up to Tom Thumb and I was like, you know, there's not very many people here. This is weird. Like, why is it like not very many people here? The power is out. The power. And so then I, like a idiot, go, does that mean t like Starbucks too? <laughs> So anyway, now I'm probably going to go to the other Starbucks. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. I just filmed a hot chocolate chat, which I will insert those clips here so y'all can enjoy it too. I used to upload, like that's what I used to do is just a hot chocolate chat where I sit in my car, talk about random things, and I drink hot chocolate from Starbucks. Usually from Star, almost always from Starbucks if I'm not drinking like water or something else. So... Now, I'm at work. I'm going to go inside. I'll insert the hot chocolate chat here so you can see it. And then we'll go about the rest of our day. I don't really have anything planned. Hey, y'all, and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today, I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. And I had to drive all the way across town to get it. But it's worth it. Today, I want to know... I'm, I'm going to ask you what something is. So, get ready. What is a toboggan? Okay, go ahead and... DM me or put a comment or whatever. You know what to do, but tell me. Is it something you wear or something you ride? Because when this question first came up, I, I thought sled. But they were talking about a cap, like a toboggan cap. So, I thought, okay, I've heard, I've heard of that too. But I just looked it up. I just Googled it and it said it could be like... A toboggan is a sled, but it's from the same word toboggané or something, a French word. And yeah, but a toboggan, like a, the hat, is referring to the toboggan cap, which could be used when you're tobogganing. Does it depend on where you come from? Like, oh, people in Canada call it this, but people in Maine call it that, but people in the Pacific Northwest call it this. That's what I want to talk about today while I'm drinking my hot chocolate. So let me know. What is a toboggan? Not sure about the creepy voice at the end there, but let's do my outro. 
If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though. Because that's creepy. P.S. These are my Kate Spade sunglasses. Aren't they cute? What a day, what a day, what a day. I did not leave the office once I got there. And I was working on comps for a house in Forney for my daughter Carrie. And I have been printing off some stuff for social media that I need to put together for another project that I'm working on. And now I'm getting ready to go home. My intent was... My intent was to leave a while ago and go get some stuff from the storage building and um, almost dropped that. Um, get some stuff from the storage building and um, then go home, get caught up on a few more things. But then I got caught up doing that comparative market analysis, which is also known as a CMA. I got caught up doing that and that started to get a little bit more intense and so that's what I've been doing for like the past hour or so. Now it is 428. Like I said, I was trying to leave by like three, but oh well. I got caught up doing a comparative market analysis, which is also known as a CMA for my daughter. And I was trying to leave by about three, 3.30. It's 4.30, so we got all caught up in that. But that's okay, it's part of what we do. Now, I'm gonna go home. Marvin went and voted early. I don't know how late early voting is open, but if it's still open, maybe I'll go and early vote. Got another full day tomorrow, which I didn't know I was gonna have a full day tomorrow because tomorrow I have MLS in the morning. I have a nine o'clock, I completely forgot about this meeting. Nine o'clock meeting at Starbucks. <laughs> Not a bad place for a meeting, you know what I'm saying? And then I have a, I'm supposed to have like a 10 o'clock and then I don't know if I can, if I'm going to be able to stay for that or not. I don't know because at like 1130, I have a realtor luncheon to go to, which I didn't know was, there was one tomorrow, but there is. And so I'm going to go to that. And then Wednesday, uh, there's just a couple more realtor luncheons that I didn't realize I had or that were coming up and that I'm going to go to. So got to check my calendar tonight and get it all put in. Hello. I am just going through this pile of papers here and got a little partner there helping me and I'm just prepping some posts for the um, my Instagram so I haven't posted there in a few days and I need to and so I'm prepping some posts for that for the next few days I'm also working on wing moms because we're we're about to lose several admins and so we have to find replacements and we have to train them so working on that as well as working on some real estate stuff because i have um some real estate luncheons and and uh, open houses to go to this week and also i have a couple clients that are wanting to look and my daughter's wanting to sell her house so lots of different things happening right now in that world as well I'm um, getting a little stuffy and you know I had cleaned all that off. It's messy again. But <laughs> that's the way it happens. So I'm gonna clean that off. I'm oh, I'm gonna post the I hadn't posted this yet, my um hot chocolate chat from this morning. I didn't post it to Instagram yet, so I'm gonna do that right now. So at least I have some content going up. It's almost 9 30. I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep, um, go to bed after I do that because um, I've got a busy day tomorrow. <laughs> in fact, I'm not gonna be in the office until it's been eight o'clock, I have a nine o'clock, and then I have a 10, and then I have an 11.30. So I won't even be in the office until the afternoon, if I'm even in by then. So, and then on Wednesday, I had signed up to go to a Facebook for business uh, seminar type thing, but that's in Fort Worth. So that starts at four at 3.30. So I'll have to leave by about 2.15 to get there on time. And then I won't be back until about almost seven or six o'clock, I think. I don't know how long it lasts. I may have to leave early. 
Um, it says it lasts till 6.30, but I may have to just sleep early because Fort Worth is an hour away from my house. And yeah. And then on Thursday, I have a grand opening of a model home and then a realtor kind of like happy hour kind of thing in the afternoon. And then, yeah, so I've got like several things going on and I'm just really trying hard to play catch up. I got some things done today, but um, I'm not gonna be in the office really tomorrow to have time to set aside focus on that kind of stuff. So I'm just trying to plow through some paperwork and get it all done. So I'm gonna end the vlog now. I just hope that you guys have an amazing night. Tomorrow should be fun. We'll, we'll go to a couple meetings and such. That's my client asking me if we can go see this house. And not tonight, of course, but tomorrow night. So I may have a showing tomorrow night of a house. It's actually a house that I went to a an estate sale at. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, it's the one with the Nancy Drew books. Do y'all remember? Yeah, so that's the house that they want to go look at to possibly buy. So that's kind of cool. But I have to be up early because I have to get up for my first meeting at 8. And I have to leave here by about, although I'm closer, at the new house I'm closer. But I have to leave here about like quarter till. And so it takes me about 30 minutes to get ready. So I need to be up by 7 getting ready to go and out the door. But that also means that all this stuff has to be packed up so I can just grab it and go. Because in the morning trying to get it all together, then I get behind and then I'm just like, oh, I'll just skip the first meeting. So, and I don't need to do that because I'm gonna have to leave that meeting early anyway to get to my next meeting at nine. What a, what a fun day. But I like that it's gonna be a busy day, but it's gonna be a fun day. So anyways, have a great night and don't forget to be kind to others and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.